Utah couple has been banned from bringing their Betsy Ross flag to the Real Salt Lake MLS soccer games in Utah. The team's officials cite that it's because it's a hate symbol. The Betsy Ross flag is literally just named after the woman who made it, if you're not aware, and there's no implication of racism from the creator or the time at all. This is just all made up and everything behind it is just, you know, wild claims of racism because it's colonialism, everybody. Utah couple are banned from waving their Betsy Ross flag at Real Salt Lake soccer games because the team says it has become a hate symbol for hate groups. Randolph and Diana Scott were asked to take down their flag at a recent Real Salt Lake soccer game in Utah. They claim staff told them that they would be kicked out if they didn't put away the Revolutionary War US era US flag with 13 stars in a circle. Real Salt Lake said they didn't want the flag flying the stadium because it had recently become a symbol of hate groups. The flag was at the center of a firestorm in July when Nike revealed it was removing a July 4th themed sneaker because it was bearing the Betsy Ross flag. Nike recalled the sneaker after endorsed, endorser Colin Kaepernick said it had links to slavery and had now been appropriated by white nationalist groups. Now I'm going to read you a couple quotes here from the article and then tell you what it's about because I don't really need the article to tell me what the flag and what everything's all about. I'm very familiar with your everybody's God. I was going to say your God. Everybody's God called Kaepernick. I'm very familiar with him. So let's look at a couple of quotes. The link's in the description if you want to read the entire article yourself. He usually waves an American flag at games, but faced immediately backlash, immediate backlash when he took his Betsy Ross flag, which is named after the Philadelphia woman credited with designing the symbol last month. Diana bought it for me actually because my other flag was kind of old and falling apart, Randolph told Fox 13. The complaints from other fans escalated last weekend when staff asked the couple to take the flag down. They kept telling us if, it wasn't going to t if he wasn't going to take down, we're going to be rejected from the game. The couple initially refused to take down the flag. They eventually put it away when staff said they risked being thrown out of the stadium. He asked me, he's like, so what's the purpose of the flag, Randolph says. I was like, well... It's because we love America. Those monsters. Now the implication here is of course that there's slavery and it was racist and there's racist groups that are doing it. But first of all we can throw the white supremacy thing out because clearly this woman is not white. She's just co-opting, they're co-opting the flag everybody so you gotta change it. Like the okay symbol like milk and everything. We gotta stop using it because five people said something. Also to say that colonialism I want to say that colonialism is not an inherently a white thing. It isn't because colonies weren't going, were going around specifically targeting certain races. That's just not what happened. And the conquerors were not only white people around the world. If you think that, somebody else could argue that your knowledge of history is a racist one that's only focusing on white history. Now the flag with the 13 stars represents the 13 colonies, which is before the forming of the actual United States. Now they weren't the only colonizers at, th at the time and to claim it is racist would mean that everyone else was. So let's just erase history altogether and we'll just play this game and we'll, we'll erase all statues, delete all museums, delete everything from existence. Just play a real time strategy game for your computer based on war times somewhere between the year 1000 and now and you'll figure it out for yourself, it's not very hard. There's multiple t wars between native tribes at the time and not them being oppressed and being defensive about it between other natives. Iroquois, I'm drawing a blank from the other ones. Iroquois, the Aztecs of course, there's so many different tribes. Huron is another one, see I'm not that stupid. And they're all battling out. There were some tribes that were cannibals, some tribes that had slaves of course. But from there you had Brits colonizing, you had French, you had the Dutch, the Russians, oh my god, they're all white. The Ottomans, aka the Turks. Further back you can go with the Mongols, the Chinese, the Moors. These are all people that were conquering around the world. And if you just played a Vidya game, you'd see it. The CPU attacks you because they're racist, I guess. Okay, to suggest only white people did this is insane and I don't think you're going to find Chinese people in China being like the history of China is racist because we conquered a lot of stuff. India had a lot of power. The Mongols, like I said. Genghis Khan completely racist? Maybe. But then again, so was everybody, I guess, if that's the route we're going to take. Then we get to the fact that they can't, their team that they love, clearly, they're painting mohawks, they're bringing flags 
to the game that they love. You don't do that if you don't love soccer or football. If he loves football, the globalists will call. If he calls it soccer, the globalists will come for him. So they're bringing the flag of America to the game and getting kicked out or threatened to kicked out. Now I love sports. I love sports. Some sports teams more than others. I'll just reveal my biases here first. Denver Broncos won a championship recently. Two, or sorry, three in my lifetime so far. So far. Liverpool, favorite soccer team, won last year. Champions of Europe, love it. Raptors, won last year. NBA champions, love it. And then I like the Blue Jays, who currently suck. And then we come to hockey, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Haven't won in my lifetime, haven't won in a lot of people's lifetimes. But I care not as much for the other championships. For all, I've been very lucky as of late for my sports teams winning championships, but none of it would compare at all to the Toronto Maple Leafs winning a Stanley Cup in hockey. Yes, I'm Canadian, or am I Lithuanian, or am I South African? You'll never know I'm actually 19 years old. Got to get that out of the way. But if the Leafs won the Stanley Cup, and I was the happiest person in the world, and I came to the arena with a Canadian flag, and they told me I had to get out, or maybe we can go even further. Uh, one of the flags, the Canadian flags with a Union Jack in it from like the 1800s. And they told me I had to get out because it was a hate symbol. I don't know if I would drop the entire team because of the management, but I would never support that management of that team ever again, no matter how much I love the team. Why? Because it's ridiculous to bow to the 10 people that cry about this stuff and say that it's a hate symbol because five dudes in a basement somewhere said it was is in completely insane and you're driving your fans away, by the way, who are in America, if you didn't realize. <laughs> who knew Utah was this soft? I thought the Mormons had more backbone, but I guess I'm wrong. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. <laughs>